The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 241 pounds, the Rated R Superstar is... Ladies and gentlemen, here is a nine-time world champion. Edge won this year's Royal Rumble, which gave Edge the opportunity to pick which champion he wore to face here at WrestleMania. Chris Jericho won the World Heavyweight Championship inside the Elimination Chamber. So what does Edge do on the next Monday Night Raw? He spears Jericho and says, I want to face you. Uh, he's the ultimate opportunist, JR. is a six-time world champion, a nine-time Intercontinental champion, and one of the greatest superstars to ever grace the WrestleMania ring. Well, Jericho maintains that it is genetics that make him better than Edge. Is Edge prone to physically breaking down? That's the question. 72,219 WWE fans here tonight in Glendale, Arizona and the WWE Universe watching from all over the world in places like Jericho and Edge's home country, Canada, also New Zealand and Mexico, Spain, Romania, the Middle East, and of course, on the Armed Forces Network. What a night! What a WrestleMania the world is witnessing! Championship on the line here tonight as Chris Jericho and Edge face off in this long brewing rivalry contest. Well, this rivalry goes all the way back to the bash in 2009, JR. You would not think to look at them, but at one time, Jericho and Edge were the unified tag team champions. That pairing was short lived as Edge suffered a torn Achilles tendon forcing him to the sidelines and Jericho to find a new tag team partner. And Jericho then teamed up with the Big Show and he made it well known that Edge had little to do with the team's earlier success. Edge returned and won the Royal Rumble this year and then made his chosen opponent of Edge and Jericho are former unified tag team champions. This is a deeply personal affair and there may be no greater enemy than that of a wronged best friend. Well, let's not forget that both these superstars come from Canada. Edge is from Toronto. Jericho from Winnipeg. They train together. They travel the roads together before coming to the WWE. It's almost like a brotherhood that has been severed. Bam! Another kick. Jericho! Before they do it, if you've ever traveled through the Great White North, a nine 
six-time world champion Edge takes on the current Titleist, six-time world champion Chris Jericho. King, you followed this matchup and these guys' careers over the past number of years. What do you think the strategy is for the challenger Edge in this match tonight? Edge's primary weapon is the spear, JR. He can hit it in the blink of an eye. But can his Achilles hold up? Any athlete who has torn his Achilles will tell you that it'll never be the same. Back into the ring now. Massachusetts, weighing 240 pounds, John Cena. It is 
the salute to the WWE Universe as John Cena is ready to battle for the WWE title. You know, I just talked about doubt, but right now, I don't see an ounce of doubt on the face of Cena. He looks like a new man. John Cena has said he lives for moments like this. Lives for moments like WrestleMania. Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, for these two men, their careers both started in 2002. They made their WrestleMania debuts back at WrestleMania 20. They were the final two men in the 2005 Royal Rumble, both men, with stellar records here at WrestleMania. Cena, an eight-time world champion. Batista, six-time world champion. And both of these men want to add one more accolade to their WrestleMania record. The patented right hand of Cena. Look at the strength behind those strikes. This could be big. Countered with a powerbomb. This guy's just too strong. John Cena suffered a broken neck back at SummerSlam 2008. Batista remembers it, as does Cena. I think that's been the impetus, the broken neck that has allowed Batista to play these mind games on Cena over the past couple of years. Remember what Batista said to Cena? You can't beat me. Deep down, you know it. But perhaps some self-doubt now growing in the mind of Batista. with Cena. And he strikes with a foot kick. He's putting those educated feet to good use. You hear how 
his leg connected. And another kick. Oh, and slammed down with the Russian leg sweep. That's a close line. A bona fide slobber knocker.
this one goes back to last year's WrestleMania, where Shawn Michaels lost a classic to The Undertaker. That match won the Slammy for Match of the Year. When he accepted the award, HBK made it very clear if he gets another shot at WrestleMania, he will beat The Undertaker. Yeah, and The Undertaker refused. He said thanks, but no thanks, HBK. This, of course, only made Shawn Michaels even more determined to get the rematch. HBK was sent reading after Undertaker's refusal. He was eliminated at the Royal Rumble and didn't even qualify for the Elimination Chamber. Yeah, but Michaels delivered sweet chin music to The Undertaker, allowing Chris Jericho to win the World Heavyweight Championship from The Undertaker. The Undertaker was so incensed that he gave HBK the rematch with one stipulation. If Shawn Michaels doesn't beat The Undertaker this time, Michaels must retire. It's the streak versus HBK's career. The stakes have never been higher. Will you look at the scary power of The Undertaker? I followed Shawn Michaels' career. Shawn Michaels has used a cross face, an ankle lock. Shawn Michaels is very adept at the art of submission grappling. And he may need it in that this match can only end in pinfall or submission. Counter by HBK. Taking him back into the ring now. Shawn Michaels said he would risk anything, everything, if he could beat The Undertaker. The Undertaker, that's it, he's done. This may come to the surprise of no one. The Undertaker is dominating HBK. It looks like the streak will live on. Never count out Shawn Michaels, JR. Undertaker has him right where he wants him. Face first again. The physicality in this one is unreal. Going for the last ride. Not here. Shawn Michaels in trouble. Sweet ten music. Yeah, but The Undertaker's down in the ring. You can't pin him out here on the table. Wait a minute. Wait. What, what, what is he doing? What is Shawn Michaels thinking here? Michaels, top rope. Undertaker in trouble. Oh, my God. Moonsault. Moonsault. Undertaker, ladies and gentlemen, right here in front of us, grabbing and grasping at that injured leg. His leg's broken. I think his leg is broken. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. A nice reversal by The Undertaker. Heading back into the ring now. him with the reversal and that's a shot that could drop a grizzly oh man that could be a knockout oh man that could 
might be a knockout. Ooh, hard shot by Undertaker. Shawn Michaels looks to be in no man's land. superstars have tried to defeat The Undertaker at WrestleMania, and none have succeeded. Never count out Shawn Michaels, JR. Uh-oh. Oh. HBK with a slap to The Undertaker, as if to say, this isn't over. Superstar. What an elbow by Michaels. I think after that, I'd be searching in my tights for a white flag I could wave. Close line. And Michaels goes down hard. The Phenom looking to dismantle him here. What punishment? Your match already. Oh man, I thought he might have been knocked out right there. Looks like he's trying for a pin here. Three. Against all the odds, he's got the victory. Here is your winner, the Undertaker. Ladies and gentlemen, the fight to the end. Shawn Michaels. Does a match live up to its expectations? Does a match live up to its hype? I believe tonight, what we saw was that and so much more. Oh, it way surpassed what anyone could have expected.
He's from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 241 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, the rated R superstar is. Well, the rated R superstar is an 11-time world champion, a master manipulator, and the ultimate opportunist. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the opportunity to speak with the world heavyweight champion Edge. And he told me that, well, he has a personal vendetta here tonight. He's never successfully defended the world heavyweight title at WrestleMania. Edge vows to do it tonight against a very game, Alberto Del Rio. Ladies and gentlemen, an unprecedented start for WrestleMania. For the first time in history, the first match of the night, the World Heavyweight Championship will be defended. Will Edge successfully defend, or will it be Alberto Del Rio's destiny to win the title tonight? Well, the last visual we saw of the world champion Edge and Alberto Del Rio was Del Two. Rio locking on his cross arm breaker to Edge. It's been a recurring theme over the past number of weeks. Edge Three. has the experience factor over at Del Rio. But I've got to wonder if this WrestleMania environment, Four. the sheer number of people in attendance, and the worldwide audience is having an effect on Del Rio's Five. concentration. Well, it's only natural for Del Rio to be taken back a bit. I mean, it's his first WrestleMania, JR. There's no way to prepare for this. The rated R superstar is showing Alberto Del Rio why Edge is the world champion. Showing Del Rio that no one handed Edge the championship. The rated R superstar earned it. And if Del Rio thinks he's just going to walk into WrestleMania and take the world heavyweight championship from Edge, he is sorely mistaken. Edge has had a stellar career here in the WWE. Del Rio is in the ring with a future Hall of Famer, and he's finding that out. Del Rio talks at length about his destiny. Del Rio, the aristocrat, believes with all his heart that he is destined to win the championship gold in WWE. Del Rio is so full of himself, and overconfidence sometimes leads to mistake. Just look at the ring, JR. Edge connected. Edge got all of that one, and it goes running. reversal there. Edge is on the attack. In the knuckles connect. Oh, big DDT. That could be it. What do we got here? What's this? Edge setting it up?
Boy, he was able to reverse it and get out of that. What a counter by it. He's going Four. for the pin. Two. Three. That's three. A successful time defense by Edge. Ladies and gentlemen, an unprecedented start for WrestleMania. For the first time in history, the first match of the night, the World Heavyweight Championship will be defended. Will Edge successfully defend, or will it be Alberto Del Rio's destiny to win the title tonight? Well, the last visual we saw of the world champion Edge and Alberto Del Rio was Del Rio locking on his cross arm breaker to Edge. It's been a recurring theme over the past number of weeks. Edge has the experience factor over Del Rio. But Del Rio is one of the fastest rising superstars in recent memory. Well, if momentum means anything, we could see a new world heavyweight champion here tonight. WrestleMania environment, the sheer number of people in attendance and the worldwide audience is having an effect on Del Rio's concentration. Well, it's only natural for Del Rio to be taken back a bit. I mean, it's his first WrestleMania, JR. There's no way to prepare for this. Big shot to the abdomen. Our superstar is showing Alberto Del Rio why Edge is the world champion. Showing Del Rio that no one handed Edge the championship. The rated R superstar earned it. And if Del Rio thinks he's just going to walk into WrestleMania and take the World Heavyweight Championship from Edge, he is sorely mistaken. Edge has had a stellar career here in the WWE. Del Rio is in the ring with a future Hall of Famer, and he's finding that out the hard way. No blocks. In an opportunistic maneuver by Edge. Back into the ring now. One. Two. He's got evil intentions. about his destiny. Del Rio, the aristocrat, believes with all his heart that he is destined to hold championship gold in WWE. Del Rio is so full of himself. 
And overconfidence sometimes leads to mistake. Just look at the ring, JR. Del Rio is in real trouble. What's Edge going to do here? And there's the counter. Watch it. Good. We got a cover. Over the top row. And he almost came down on the back of his head. And there it goes again. Two. Wow. He's still down after that. Three. I'm warning you. Keep it up. Four. Now back into the ring. And here we go, back into the ring. Back into the ring now. Look at the intensity as they lock up. Alberto Del Rio needs to get himself back in the game here. Otherwise, he's going to be on the losing end of this thing. Back into the ring now. We're going to the top. High risk. Nice move. Watch it. That was an insane move. Sometimes when you go high risk, you crash and burn. And sometimes you knock it out of the park. Two. And that was a perfect example of hitting it big. into the ring now. And what a shot that was by Edge. Did you hear how his leg connected? Those strikes from Edge are finding a home. There's the whip. Oh my gosh! His face was the first thing to hit the table. into the ring now. And here we go, back into the ring. Back into the ring now. Edge, ever the opportunist. Oh, here we go again. I'm not 
not sure he can get back to his feet. He's in the driver's seat, and he knows it. to get himself back in the game here. Otherwise, he's going to be on the losing end of this thing. What an impact from that kick. Two. Alberto Del Rio needs to get himself Three. back in the game here. Otherwise, he's going to be on the losing end of this thing.
Mexico. And he has been absolutely dominant here in WWE. And we're seeing some of that domination tonight. Uh, Del Rio has taken out so many superstars around the world with his devastating cross arm breaker finisher. Just ask Boy Mysterio. He snapped right his arm. Every week to show it. Cena, Cena, Cena. You like to rap. We'll try this one on for size. The Rock, John Cena, Macho Man, and Liz, Stone Cold, Bret Hart. They're nothing compared to The Miz. And one more thing. Hello, Rock. We haven't been properly introduced. I'm The Miz the WWE Champion. And if you have the guts to show up to Raw or WrestleMania, I will take your 45 catchphrases, your little eyebrow, roll them up into a ball, flip it sideways, and stick it straight up your candy ass. Because I'm the Miz, and I'm awesome!
should be an outstanding match. John Cena obviously will be the stronger of the two men in this contest. I think Miz has a very high IQ, very intelligent. For Miz to retain his WWE Championship, the Miz will need a great game plan. Well, the only problem with the Miz is that he's good, but he knows it. And he said what you will about the Miz King, but he's proven that he's a worthy WWE Champion. Behind the flash is a whole hell of a lot of skill. Well, one thing I have come to learn about The Miz is that he will surprise you. And it looks like he's surprising Cena here tonight. I think The Miz continues to surprise us all, King. He's come a long way since his days of reality television. What impact. He's still not through. One more time. Break. Look out! The Miz likes to call himself the most must-see WWE champion in history. Well, the way he's handling Cena tonight, I can't say that he's too far off. Well, you can't ever underestimate the Miz. I mean, how many superstars are in the main event in only their second WrestleMania? Well, not many, King. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, The Miz is the real deal. matches and learned his habits. Oh yeah! Get it! Get Three. it! I'm warning you, I will count you out! And that one dropped it.
is going to continue. Cena got a reprieve.
The men that have defined the WWE for two decades are colliding here at WrestleMania 27. Every passing moment, I have lived the memory of the beating that I took at the hands of Triple H last year at WrestleMania. Only one man walked out and it was me. My victory over you means nothing. I will not let that be the image of me that is remembered through the ages. Give me. Streak will continue. I hold the end of an era in the palm of my hand because I've been made a special referee. You remember when I said Sean is better than you? I'm gonna end an era! Your mind, your body, your soul, all this. Are you willing to put it all on the line? I am. And I will.
see the demonic structure that has maimed bodies and shortened careers, the cell. I'm not sure the cell can contain these two. I'd like to start off by saying congratulations to the WWE Universe. You know, King, this stadium opened 25 years ago. There have been over 2,500 events held here, but tonight, thanks to you, the WWE Universe, we have set a brand new attendance record of 78,363. Another WrestleMania and another attendance record. That's the WWE Universe for you, JR. The question coming into this matchup is Undertaker's physical well-being. Remember, we have not seen The Undertaker inside a ring since his battle with Triple H last year at WrestleMania. Oh, and The Undertaker has been seething for an entire year. The fact that he did not leave the arena under his own power in last year's WrestleMania has clearly weighed on the dead man's mind. Now that's how you hit a DDT. And there's the reversal. The Undertaker is a great striker and throws devastating blows. It's certainly an advantage in one respect, King. But on the other side of the coin is, has he been out of the ring too long? At some point, time catches up with everyone, even the dead man. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at WWE.com lately, but they had a great feature on what Triple H has gone through over the last couple of months to prepare himself for The Undertaker inside the cell here tonight. Look at the agility. And Triple H hits the ground. Undertaker looking to make someone rest in peace. started for The Undertaker all the way back in 1991 in Los Angeles. And you gotta remember the kind of matches The Undertaker's been through during this streak. Dale, I mean, casket matches, Hell in a Cell matches, handicap matches, no disqualification matches. I mean, The Undertaker has literally done it all. So many have tried to beat The Undertaker here, and so many have failed, including Triple H one year ago. The game with a series of vicious chair shots. Oh! Look at The Undertaker's back. He's just fighting to get back up. Tonight, King. 
whether it's coincidence or not. Triple H has never lost a match. Oh, what a super kick! Must be wondering, what in the hell do I have to do to keep this man down? Well, Triple H believes he can end the streak, but does The Undertaker? The Undertaker will not just give the streak away. You're going to have to take it from him. And did you hear the impact on that kick? Athleticism. Man, that one rocked him. The Phenom looking to dismantle him here. What punishment. Oh, oh gosh. Hey, what do you want for your last meal? Could this be it?